Kwasi 2020 Elective Mathematics Question 14 The ends X and Y of an inextensible string 27 meters long are fixed at two points on the same horizontal line which are 20 meters apart a particle of mass 7.5 kg is suspended from a point P on the string 12 meters from X. Illustrate this information in a diagram. Calculate correct to two decimal places angle YXP and angle XYP. Find correct to the nearest hundred the magnitudes of the tensions in the string. Take G equal 10 meters per second squared. So now, let's illustrate this on a diagram. We are told that the ends X and Y of the string were fixed at two points. So, let's this be our string and the ends are this so this is the string we cannot extend it in it is inextensible so the length will always be 27 meters now let's fix these two points to let's fix the ends to these two points over here so no matter what the point is is also going to coincide with x and y now this is the string which is slacking over here the next thing we need to do is to suspend a mass of 7.5 kg so let's this be the mass of 7.5 kg and we are suspending it at a distance of x so we move x we move from x 12 meters we move 12 meters from x and suspend the mass or the particle P so this is a particle P and the mass of that particle is this is 7.5 kg now when we leave this it's going to exert some weight on on the string so that there will be some kind of tension exerting upwards good so we will see that the distance from x to p is 12 meters and the distance from y to p will be 50 meters because the string cannot extend the total length of the string will still be 27 that is 15 plus 12 meters so it is the weight that stretch the string like this and the tension the, the, the tension force were acting in the opposite direction so now we've managed to illustrate this information in a diagram the next thing is to calculate correct to two decimal places angle yxp this angle and angle xyp this angle so we know that we can do that by using the cosine rule together with the sine rule so we know the cosine rule is given by a squared equal b squared plus c squared minus 2 a b cos a so it's a mistake here 2 times a b cos a So that's the cosine rule for you. Now the next thing we do is to apply this cosine rule and the sine rule on this. So using the cosine rule, let's try finding this angle first. So 15 squared will be equal to 12 squared plus 20 squared minus 2 times 20 times 12 cos 
cos of angle yxp so that is what we did here and we had this now we've seen it now the next thing we do is to simplify this 15 square will be 225 equal to 144 plus 400 minus 480 cosine of angle y xp now what do we do next we simplify further now when we evaluate on the left we get negative 319 and this will also give us negative 480 cosine of angle y xp on the right now we divide through by negative 480 and simplify so that will give us angle y x p to be equal to the cos inverse of 319 over 480 and when you calculate that correct to two decimal places you get 37.17 37.12 degrees so you can work to three decimal places before you you correct to two decimal places now we've managed to find this angle now to find this angle we can quickly apply the sine rule sine a over a will be equal to sine of angle b over b when we do that we get something like this sine of angle x y p over 12 meters is equal to sine of angle this angle over here over 15 so when we do that we simplify by multiplying both sides by 12 then that will give us sine of angle x y p is equal to 0 0.48266 now take sine inverse of both sides to obtain the angle correct to two decimal places as 28.86 degrees. Now what do we do next? We are supposed to find correct to the nearest correct to the nearest hundred, which is the same as to the near to two decimal places. The magnitudes of the tensions in the strange. So we need to calculate the weight here and also cal calculate the tension force. So when we calculate the weight, we obtain something like this over here. So the weight will be 7.5 times 10, which is equal to 75 Newton. Now, what do we do next? We have to resolve these forces, these tension forces tension 1, tension 2. Then we know that this angle here is equal to this angle because of alternate angles theorem. And the same thing applies to this side also. So what do we do? To resolve these forces, we resolve into horizontal and vertical component. So that will be given by, we know this angle is the angle created with the x axis so it is also in the quadrant where x is negative and y is positive so for the tension one the resolution is given by this magnitude of the tension times the cosine of the angle it makes with the x axis the negative sign here is because x is negative in this quadrant then the same thing applies to the vertical component magnitude of the tension one that time the sign of the angle it makes with the x axis so when we simplify this we get this so use your calculator to obtain something like this now the next thing we do is to resolve tension two and that will give us this so in this quadrant this is the first quadrant and both x and y are positive then we resolve the weight so the weight over here is making an angle of 90 with the x axis so 
the resolution is w equals 25 cos 90 the negative 75 sin 90 because y is negative over here so the body is now in equilibrium so if we add all the forces acting on it we should get zero and this will give us two simultaneous equations in t1 and t2 and we need to obtain the equations as follow negative 0 0.797 for t1 plus 0 0.8758 magnitude of t2 equals 0 that is taking the x component then if you take the y component you also obtain this second equation so i will leave this for you to solve simultaneously to obtain the magnitude of the first tension to be equal to 71.91 newtons and the magnitude of the second tension to be equal to 65.47 newtons now if you can still see this red thing here it means you have not yet subscribed so you just have to click it so that the next upload you see it is still red you have to click it so that if i upload the next video you'll be informed click the bell icon too so that you get a notification whenever i upload a new video thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe